What's up, everybody? Welcome to Piece by Piece, where we sit down with different artists and collaborate on merchandise. Today, we're going to be working with an artist that goes by the name of Acre. He's based out of Phoenix. His medium is graffiti, and he specializes in lettering. We picked up some stuff from the local thrift shops to customize. Got some different fabrics that we're going to have him do his thing on. I'm super excited to see how this first episode comes out. Let's make it happen. Bro, bro. What's up, homie? How's it going? Excited. Yeah, excited to get this shit done today. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So, this is what we got today. You know, let's start and pick a piece that we want to start with. I think we could do the Playboy. That would be pretty, pretty sick. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to cut a stencil to where you can do crazy colors in the stencil. And then when we pull it off, that will have that Playboy effect. And then even we could have you do like a Playboy down the arm. Okay. If you wanted to write it, write it out. Yeah, write it out. If you wanted to do it fat. Or no, I don't know, depending on how fat, like three inches. What colors are you thinking? Once again, I think with it being a black piece, we could go all out. I'll cut that piece of vinyl. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to just start doodling some Playboy shit. But the bunny would probably be... I think the bigger, the better. I think I'm going to make it 10 inches wide and then we'll see what it gives me on the height. Um, Cause yeah, that's pretty fat. This would just be picture after we removed it. It would have everything revealed that you painted. Man, I've been into graffiti since I was like fucking like three or four, man. Like I remember seeing trains go by and I think it was the coolest shit seeing all the graffiti. Or I'd pass a abandoned building in the car when I was a kid. I remember asking my dad one time, like, hey, can you stop so we can go, like, look at that abandoned building? And my dad was like, yeah, sure. He took me into the abandoned building. And we just, it was a small little, little house almost, run down. We walked inside, and all the walls were painted, just completely covered. I just thought it was the coolest shit ever. And uh, I, I used to play this game, uh, Mark Echoes Getting Up. And it was like a, a tagging video game and it would get you like started from toy level and then you would you know catch hit ups and slap stickers and work your way up to like a graffiti legend throughout the video game and uh, me and my friend would play that game and try to reenact some of that shit in real life like uh, a roller piece we got caught up doing a roller piece when we were like 13 years old uh, it was me and my buddy our two little brothers were the lookouts and they weren't very good lookouts we ended up getting busted for it but i gave it a break for a while and i moved to california and then that's when i really started like painting and i got in a couple crews out there i got locked up in california I stopped graffiti for a while and then i moved back to arizona and then uh, that's when it picked back up once i moved back out here i met a couple of my old homies and we linked up and started painting the streets, tunnels, fucking some freeway spots, a couple rollers. It's fun. You know, I enjoy it. I like to 
have my name out there. You know, people see it here, they see it there, and they're like, damn, Aker was over here, he was over here, you know? It's cool. I like it. I like to see that shit. And I support every other graffiti art artist out there as well. I really do. Thank you.